Hey guys, how are you? Um, I know I haven't been on in a while, but between work and having the puppy and then we're leaving for most of June and then the week after we get back from Vegas slash Boston slash Vegas, my sister and her husband are coming in. So we've been working on, um, you know, straightening up and purging some stuff and trying to get cleaned up to a certain point where when we get back, because I have a full schedule when we get back, um, we just have to do some light cleaning and we should be ready for when they get here. But um, I have purchased a few beauty items that I wanted to share with you. And I had watched Marinda, uh, the Barbie with Muscle, she had done a video on um, my Beauty Diary mask. She had the hyaluronic acid one. And so I looked these up. And I decided to get the Q10 Rejuvenating Mask. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. And it is, um, it's kind of a, almost like a spongy paper or material. And it's saturated with the, um, with the ingredients. And um, I got these on eBay. It was 13 something and it included shipping. I think it was $13.75 and it included the shipping. I did use it once and you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes and then um, you massage the rest of the um, serum into your face, in your neck, your decollete, wherever. And it was fine. I didn't notice any striking results and I did it at bedtime so then I just slept with it on because from what I understand, um, most beauty products are supposed to work better at night. So this is the Q10 Rejuvenating Mask. And that is my Beauty Diary. And it's fine. I don't know, you know, masks aren't miracles, so. Um, then another beauty product, Skin Care. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise Repair Volume Firm Eye Renewal Cream. And our nail tech Janet has a client who's a Mary Kay um, rep and she came in and she gave Vinnie and I both samples of all the products in this particular line this is their new one the volume firm and she had a picture of herself of her eye a very close-up picture of her eye before she started using it and she had three she's in her 60s she had three very defined and deep creases here at the corner of her eye when she started out using it and she said it took four to five months and she only has one crease left so the results were amazing and I had to tease her a little bit um, just to make sure that she hadn't had any work done and it's $40 um, if you buy it individually and it is for 14 grams or a half one half fluid ounce or 14 grams so we'll see how it goes. This is the applicator. It has the metal rounded applicator. So you squeeze the product out and then it's nice and cool. And you, I just kind of put it on with the, this and then I use my fingertip to smooth it out. And it's a nice thick cream. And she said that it did not irritate her eye area at all. And she said it's the only one that never has. And it hasn't irritated mine either. I need to get a picture because um, I've used it I think three times. So the Time Wise Repair, morning and night, and Vinny signed up to be a Mary Kay rep, and so you can get the whole line, it's five or six products for $1.99, um, but because Vinny is now a rep, um, I can get it at her cost, so that's a nice deal. Um, I went to the Beauty Supply, and they had the Liquid Sand, what was the collection? OPI Liquid Sand, oh, this was the James Bond. Um, collection and I got three of the colors I did have um, the pink on my fingers and I took that off and I have the coral color on my toes and then I used hidden treasures over the top so it looks really neat uh, so the first one the pink one is pussy galore and it's very pretty um, it is a light pink and it has pink glitter and I think some gold in there too. Um, and the texture is rough. And even when I put a couple of top layers of top coat, it still had some texture. And the little tag here um, has the texture on it. 
So this one is Pussy Galore, and the blue one is just beautiful. This is Tiffany Case, <clears throat> the blue one. And this is that somewhat Tiffany blue, and it has blue glitter, and I think, I think there's a little bit of gold in this one also. And at the Beauty Supply, I think they were for something. I don't remember. And this is Jinx, the coral color. And that has the same color, coral color glitter and maybe some gold in it. And then the, the sand texture. So I got those three. And then um, Black Radiance at Walmart had some new blushes. So I picked up two. This one is 8313 Plum Sorbet. And I got this one because it was so interesting. Um, it has all these different colors in it and I'm wearing it today. And um, so that's the packaging and Plum Sorbet. And so this is what it's like. It is, um, oh, if I open the right end, that would help. It does have um, shimmer to it or an illuminating factor, but the colors, it's uh, like a pink and a brown and a tan, and it is shimmery, and I will swatch it for you. It's really pretty, just a real pretty color. It's, it definitely looks plum on the skin. Maybe I should do it on my arm because my hands, swatches never look good on my hands. It all kind of fades into the crevices. So here it is on my arm. Hopefully that's better. And I apologize for the light. It's cloudy today and kind of rainy and all the pollen with the rain is, we're covered with a layer of yellow pollen. So that's probably why my voice sounds that way. But this is the blush. And as I said, I have it on. I take my glasses off have it on. I think it's so pretty. Uh, depending on your skin tone, you might be able to use it as a blush and a bronzer, but it's definitely a beautiful plum color. And these are not expensive. I have $5 maybe, 6 bucks. I get them at my Walmart. So if you guys have the Black Radiance, check out their new blushes. And then this other one, this one is quite intense. It's 8312 Raspberry. And boy, is it raspberry. So if you have dark skin tone, this will be beautiful on you. And I like that they come in the boxes. And um, this one, for me, I have to use a very light hand because the color saturation of this is quite intense. So here's the container. And the label. I really like these black radiance products. They are made by Marquins, um, and that's the company that makes um, Wet n Wild. So here is the color. You can see how intense that is. And then I'll swatch it on my arm right above the Bruno bite. He likes to nip at me. And so when I come home from work or get up in the morning, he just goes crazy. So what I've decided to do is I just kind of ignore him and let him settle down a little bit. And then I reach down and pet him. And that is keeping me from getting bitten and nipped at. He's not a vicious dog or anything. He just gets excited. He's a puppy. He's a shepherd. And they nip because they're herding dogs. And uh, so this is Raspberry 8312. I think it's just beautiful. So, um, the raspberry, the texture of this is a little grittier, at least in mine. It's a little grittier than the um, plum sorbet. So the plum sorbet has a smoother texture to it. But aren't those pretty? Very nice. So even if, you know, you're not African American or, uh, you know, even if you have fair skin, you can use these if you use a light hand, especially the raspberry. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to upload the video of Bruno at the vet. He's weighed 39.8 pounds today. He is 14 weeks on Wednesday or Thursday. He'll be 15 weeks. That's the day we leave. And he got three shots. 
You got his rabies, the distemper parvo, and another kennel cough. And he got his microchip put in, and he got more dewormer. So, and he was so good. He he was so good. And now, uh, when you see the video, you'll see that I have the gentle leader around his snout, and I have a leash on him because he, if he gets that gentle leader off, then um, yeah. So, I I had him double leashed, and then we went over to Petco because I had a return and. Then we came home, I'm doing this, and I have to go out and run the rest of my errands. So, I'm going to upload this while I'm gone, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. It's Monday, June 3rd. I think it's the 3rd. And we, as I said, we leave Thursday for Vegas. We'll be there about a week. Then on the 13th, we fly into Boston. My husband has a meeting, so I'm excited for that because I've never been to Boston before. And then on the 19th, we go back to Las Vegas and Vinny and Kate fly in because we're going to go to the International Beauty Show. So it's going to be a fun month. And then um, on Ju July 5th, then my sister and her husband come here to Alaska. So, well, thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Like I said, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to be on um, the computer. And... Uh, Trying to think if there's any other videos I want to do before we leave. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.